Hi friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Olivia and if you've never seen my face before, you can consider me your fragrance fairy godmother. So if you didn't get to join me last week, I was talking about my small but mighty collection of body mist. And I had made a passing comment that over time I have been warming up to perfume oils. Historically, I have not liked perfume oils. I don't like the feel of them on my skin, but as of lately, I've been using them for layering and I've really been liking them. So I have accrued quite a little collection and I wanted to share that with you guys today and show you some combinations that I've come up with. So if you're into perfume oils and you're into smell good things, grab yourself a little snack, a little something to sip on, and let's get started. But before we get started with today's video, I am super excited to announce that we actually have a sponsor for today's video, and that is none other than Noem Paris. And I was super happy when they reached out to me because this is actually a brand that I got to experience while I was at Scent Explore back in December, and I was immediately drawn in by these bottles. These literally look like pieces of art that you would display on your mantelpiece. They didn't even look like a perfume bottle. And I stood at their stand and I smelled every single fragrance that they had on display. And not only was I blown away by the composition of the fragrances, but simply the sheer quality of the fragrances. So they sent me home with a ton of different samples and half of these samples didn't even make it back from my trip to New York because I wanted to use them immediately. So I spent some time getting to know them, trying them on skin, and out of all of them, there are two in particular that are hands down my favorite. So first let's start with Soma. And when I tell you the notes, you're going to understand why, because this is an Olivia fragrance through and through. It is a boozy, powdery vanilla fragrance. Does that not scream my name? It has a tonka bean that gives it this powdery, roasted, almost almond-like effect that's sweetened up with some vanilla and caramel. But that sweetness is kind of tampered down a little bit with some booziness and a little bit of suede that is soft and sumptuous and not too leathery. I love a vanilla fragrance, but I particularly love a vanilla fragrance that has some character, it has some earthy grounding qualities, and if you put booze in a fragrance, I'm automatically gonna like it, I swear. <laughs> but although that one is completely delicious, I actually have one that ranks supreme and I like the most out of their entire collection. And that is this one right here, and this is called Khalil. Now this one also has has caramel and tonka bean in it, but in contrast, this one is much more woody and much more musky. It has this amazing note of cardamom that gives it this enveloping spicy quality. And there's quite a bit more earthy notes such as vetiver, cedar, and patchouli. And then when this dries down, it has an ambroxan, so it gives it that beautiful airy molecular feel. It's warm and woody and spicy and musky, and this one is perfectly unisex. It smells elegant and opulent, but it's really one of those fragrances that you could wear any day, any occasion that you want to feel special and it will be super effective. This is a staple fragrance. So if you guys are interested in checking out any of the fragrances, they did hook us up with a 20% discount code when using code Olivia Olfactory 20, as well as free shipping on your order. And I'm going to put all of the information in the description box down below. And I want to say a big thank you to Noah in Paris for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. So let's start off today with the ones that I got from Arena Fragrances. So Arena is a dupe company and they make lotions, creams, oils, and they just sent me the most humongous package of fragrances and a bunch of oils. I can't even hold them all to show you guys. Instead of going through absolutely all of them, I'm going to show you my very favorites. So first off is Rich Cherry, and that is their version of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Now I've accrued a bunch of different cherry fragrances in my collection, but what I like about this one in specific is this is not a super medicinal, sugary, sweet, syrupy cherry, but rather it's subtle and powdery and reminds me of the Jurgens Almond Cherry Body Lotion from back in the day. Do you guys remember that? But obviously this one is much more luxe. It's much more elevated. It's powdery and sweet, but it also almost has a little bit of like an amaretto sort of vibe to it. I personally haven't come across a lot of cherry scented lotions and oils, but I do have a lot of cherry perfumes. So it's an obvious choice that I would pair this with any cherry perfume in my collection, but I paired this with Invite Only by Kayali, and this combination 
is to die for. This is a honeyed, ambery, tobacco, rich, dark, smoky, spicy fragrance. And this does have the note of black cherry, but it's very much in the background. When you add this to it and layer them together, it is sweet and spicy and woody and ambery and just so delicious. If you guys are still sleeping on invite only, I don't know how many times I have to say it. This is the best one. Next is Golden Amber, and this is their version of Gentle Fluidity Gold. And this is a warm and powdery vanilla that has a little bit of a spicy, woody, ambery undertone. This layers and richens up any vanilla fragrance or any woody fragrance so beautifully because it has the perfect balance of sweetness, but not being sickly, not smelling like a cupcake. Although I do have some stuff for that. And I've really been liking pairing this one with Burning Bridges by Sniff. And this is a spicy, powdery tobacco and vanilla. So I like the addition of that little bit of smoky tobacco to offset. So that way it's not an overdose of sweet vanilla. And this has a little bit of oak moss, so it gives it some earthiness. And that combination is so good for the cold weather. Next is called Tropical. Tropical Island, and this is their version of Greenwich Village. And this one is very fresh and musky and floral and almost slightly aquatic. It has some lychee that makes it a little bit tart. It has a water lily that gives it that nice fresh floral, but in the base it has praline that gives it a little bit of sweetness along with some musk that's kind of shampoo-y. And I have been pairing that with Burberry Her Elixir. The Elixir version is very similar to the original version where it is strawberry and it's musky, once again, a little bit shampoo-y. But this one in comparison, the florals come off a little bit more indolic and it's quite creamy. So those two together create something fluffy and clean, sweet, yet have a little bit of richness to it. And lastly is Fresh Jasmine and this is inspired by YSL Lieb. Now, personally, I'm not really a fan of YSL Lieb specifically because of the lavender in it. I find the lavender to be a little bit sharp and medicinal, but in this body oil, it's not quite as strong. So I'm just simply getting a lot more fresh jasmine and a little hint of lavender. And I was super happy because I have a lot of jasmine fragrances, but I didn't want that super screechy, scratchy lavender in there. And the jasmine scent that I paired this up with that I feel goes totally under the radar and nobody talks about is Midnight Jasmine by Gallagher. And this one is a super, super prominent jasmine. And often I can be quite sensitive to indolic jasmines. And this is an indolic jasmine, but this has some gourmand elements. So not only does this one smell like jasmine blossoms in full bloom, not fresh ones, not dewy green ones, but ones that have been sitting baking in the sun that are super, super fragrant and aromatic. But this also almost has a warm apple pie undertone. It's got cinnamon, apple, plum, honey. So it has a lot of gourmand elements. It is super duper floral as well. And next I have a ton from the brand Perlinera. And once again, I have way too many to show you all of them, but I will show you my favorites. Now, first, let me begin by saying that these are only about $30 and they are super duper concentrated. They have a ton of different scents in different scent profiles. You can find something to match pretty much any perfume that you wear. So let's start with Musk Swap. This one's a little bit bizarre because this is not a musky fragrance in my opinion. This is more of a sweet, slightly candy-like fragrance. This has saffron, jasmine, a little bit of oak moss, and caramel, and is going to be kind of reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge, but it doesn't have that slightly medicinal quality going on and is significantly more sweet. And oddly enough, I've been pairing it with this fragrance sweetener by Born to Stand Out called Sugar Addict. This on its own is so delicious. It's like burnt caramelized sugar along with some booziness. So I like to play up the caramel in this and add just that little extra dose of that burnt sugar and that little bit of booze. It just makes for the perfect combination. And like I said, I have an absolute ton from this brand. So this will be my last one. And this one is called Lovely Oud Ebony. And this one is quite a bit different from a lot of the perfume oils I have because this one is very woody, very spicy, a little bit herbaceous. It's a little bit green, it's dark and spicy, and it has the note of cumin 
and Rose. So I like to pair this one with Rose 31 by Le Labo. Now this is a photorealistic rose bush. You're getting the thorns and all. You're getting some greenery. You're getting a really, really fresh red rose, but you're getting a heavy dose of spiciness coming from cumin. I know it's not everyone's favorite note, but I think that it adds just a very distinct, warming, almost familial, carnal sort of vibe. So this combination would be better for those of you who like something that's earthy and dark and a little bit green. Next is by the House of Mudo and this is called Worthy. And this is one of those your skin but better fragrances. And it's kind of funny because when I first got this, I didn't realize it was an oil and I just thought to myself, holy crap, is this really concentrated? No, it's literally an oil. It's super creamy and sweet, and it kind of reminds me of an orange creamsicle if it were to be melted down, but not super duper sweet, and then mixed in with rose water and musk. And they do have an eau de parfum concentration of this, so I haven't really experimented with mixing this with other scents, because the scent alone is just so perfect that I want that and only that, if that makes sense. This next one is cool because it's actually a scented shimmering body oil by the brand Define Me. And this is in their scent, Sophia Isabel. Look how pretty that shimmer is. And this is a super juicy, sweet, candied mandarin orange fragrance. Once again, they do have a perfume concentration that you would be able to wear with this in a matching scent. But I actually paired this with Strawberry Sugar High from Sphinx. This smells like strawberry marshmallows and white florals. This is like a much more palatable version of Love Don't Be Shy, if it weren't so super thick and sweet and powdery, if you were to think the lighter strawberry version, that's what you're gonna get from this. And then that added hit of citrus and a little bit of candy really elevates this and they work so well together. And the next few oils are going to be vanilla. So if you're not a vanilla fan, I'm sorry, I do have quite a few of them. So let's start with Nest Madagascar Vanilla. So this is simply vanilla, vanilla orchid, and coconut. But to me, this comes off very tropical, but not in a sunscreen way. And there is a distinct floral component going on. So usually orchid doesn't have much of a scent, but this smells pretty floral to me. This is not going to be a cupcakey, super sweet gourmand vanilla, but rather on the fresher, brighter side. And this smells so good when paired with Burberry Goddess. And this is a vanilla lavender fragrance. And I know I've said before that I don't like lavender, but in this, it's really well done. There is a bit of a candied ginger sort of feel in this. And with the ginger, with the coconut, with the floral aspect, and then a sweet, smooth, vanilla from this, these two together, so, so good. This would be your perfect summertime vanilla. But if you're wanting that vanilla cupcake, very gourmand vanilla, let me introduce you to Nemat Vanilla Musk. Now this definitely does dry down with a little bit of muskiness, but this to me smells like the thick, expensive cream cheese whipped icing. It is so good. And if you see this at your local Ulta, they always have it right by the cashier stand. Grab one of these. They layer with so many different fragrances. And I coupled this up with Meringue Magnifique by Le Mans Gourmand. And this smells like a chocolate orange candy. So imagine a chocolate orange candy that has expensive vanilla ice cream on top and then dries down to a little bit of muskiness. And this is a really affordable combination. I think this is about 25 bucks. And I think these are 12? 18. And my last vanilla one is by the brand Riddle, and this is called Voyeur. So this is a vanilla amber and sandalwood. This one is going to smell super creamy and milky. It's going to be a little bit woody on the dry down and has that warm amber feel. And I know that these ones are pretty expensive for what they are, but this scent profile is so mutable. You can mix it with almost every fragrance in my collection and it will smell Perfect. And I like to layer this one with Vanilla Sky by Skylar. This has a little bit of a latte feel going on. So it's going to smell like Frappuccino and then you add a little bit of that ambery, milky sandalwood together. So good. And I actually have two more from the House of Riddle. So let's start with Original. Now this is going to be a staple in your collection because this is one of those pheromone-esque white musk fragrances. Even though I don't really believe in pheromones in fragrances, I don't think it's proven that they're able to do that. But this is going to be one of those fixative fragrances that help to bolster any fragrance to make them last longer. And I like to keep the combination simple and just use extra milk by 
by Dead Cool. This is going to be another one of those layering fixative fragrances that is amber, white musk, and bergamot. This is super fresh. It is your skin but better. It smells a little bit like clean laundry. And if you pair these two together, you will smell really, really good, but in a subtle way all day long. And the last one I have from Riddle is called Muse. Now this is going to be a super fresh floral citrusy scent that you would wear during summer. It's got coconut, peony, magnolia, but in my opinion, the florals in this come off a little bit stronger, and to me it smells like a gardenia. So you know I have to pair it with my favorite gardenia fragrance of all time, that is Toca Florence. This is a white floral balm. It smells a little bit vintage, but it's made modern with a little bit of sweetness coming from some pear. The coconutty summery freshness in this one really helps to amplify this one, making it feel a little less vintage and a little bit more modern. And speaking of Toca, the last one I have is Toca Colette. This is going to be fresh and woody and citrusy with a little bit of aromatics going on and it's going to be very reminiscent of G Water by Byredo. But personally, that one doesn't last very long on me and I don't want to spend the money for that, so I paired this with Triple Zero by Le Mans Gourmand. This is a creamy sandalwood with a little bit of a fresh water lily and a little bit of tanginess in the beginning with some bergamot. This is almost like clean laundry but not super floral smell. So if you're looking for an everyday staple that is a little bit citrusy, a little bit creamy and woody, these two together are perfect. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed my combinations. I was kind of pulling them at random, so I hope that I did a good job describing them today. But let me know if there's any combinations that you guys like wearing, and if you even use perfume oils. Now that my hair is a little bit longer, I've been incorporating a little bit of perfume oil into my regular hair oil, and my hair smells so good, and it makes me happy that I have hair again. So let us know your combinations down below, and if you've made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed yet, shame shame. And until next Saturday, 10 a.m. PST, you know what to do. Take care of yourselves, my friends.